Right now from the WHAS 1119, bringing Kentucky State Police right here to Metro Louisville with a permanent police post. It's our top story. Hello, everybody. I'm Doug Profit. Two Republican lawmakers from Louisville have filed a bill in the General Assembly. They're hoping to get it done. But what would it bring to our city? WHS 1119's Taylor Woods and photojournalist Elijah McKenzie talked to one of the lawmakers and the Louisville mayor about it. Taylor? Doug, House Bill 441 is sponsored by Republican lawmakers Kevin Bratcher and Jared Bauman. They believe bringing a Kentucky State Police post to Louisville can help combat crime in the city and help Louisville Metro Police. The move is underway to get a Kentucky State Police post based in Louisville. There has been attempts to bring them here. This isn't anything new. Republican lawmakers Kevin Bratcher and Jared Bauman are two sponsors who feel House Bill 441 would combat rising crime in the city. Bratcher says having a state police presence would help ease Louisville Metro Police since they're understaffed. Right now they are short quite a bit and there's no reason that the state police can't be here and help a little bit. Louisville's never had a KSP post. We mapped out the closest one. There are three not far from Jefferson County, Elizabethtown to the south, Frankfort to the east, but the closest one to downtown Louisville is just 36 miles up I-71 in Campbellsburg. Brancher says a state trooper can do many other duties than a regular officer. Not patrolling the streets, but just helping with the general overall uh, law enforcement of the city. Governor Andy Bashir opposes this idea. He feels state troopers are already stretched thin and this would take state troopers away from areas that need them the most. And now Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg is sharing his point of view. I, I think the way it works right now is probably the best path forward, but I would encourage the state legislature to continue to support LMPD and other police departments. Greenberg says both Kentucky State Police and LMPD share a challenge. More officers are needed. He told us Louisville is still 200 officers short of being fully staffed, and he's urging the legislator to make other moves. By raising the pension so that we and KSP can do an even better job of recruiting more officers to help prevent and respond to violent crime. Until then, the bill to bring a Kentucky State Police post to Louisville is a work in progress. And we'll just have to see how it works itself out. And while the bill has been filed, it's still waiting for a committee assignment. In studio, Taylor Woods, WHAS 1119, on your side. Taylor, thank you. We will certainly be keeping an eye on that bill. Governor Andy Bashir is responding to a recent report that found inconsistencies with policies and practices in Kentucky's Department of Juvenile Justice. The independent audit discovered the policies and procedures around isolation and use of force were poorly deployed and defined. The audit also says the use of chemical agents agents, tasers, and other security control devices on juveniles has been done without a policy in place. The governor said today he's worried about the process used to compile the report, but his office is taking it seriously anyway and looking into the concerns. What I can say is since uh, we authorized um, the carrying of uh, pepper spray and, and to some extent uh, tasers, we have had significantly fewer disruptions and violent disruptions at these facilities. And if additional training needs to be done, heck yes, we're, we're, we're going to do that. That needs to be done. The report also found facilities are understaffed, which fuels high levels of overtime, negatively impacting both recruitment and retention. All news since 6 here tonight. Louisville Metro Police detectives have made an arrest in the deadly shooting of a four-year-old. The shooting happened early last month. Tonight, Zakari Amateur is charged with reckless homicide in connection to the shooting that happened on January 13th. Police say four-year-old Zakarian Depp was shot at a home on South 37th Street and later died at Louisville Norton Children's Hospital. In a release tonight, an LMPD spokesperson says detectives presented this case to the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office and the charges were recommended. Right now, we don't know the circumstances around the shooting. Amateur is expected to be in court tomorrow morning. A developing story we've been keeping an eye on developed late today. A Louisville Catholic middle school teacher is facing charges accused of distributing child pornography. The FBI says 39-year-old Jordan Fouts was working as a 7th and 8th grade religion teacher at St. Stephen Martyr Catholic School near Audubon Park when he allegedly sent the explicit materials to an undercover officer. In court documents, investigators say Fouts took photos of the students from the yearbook or school publication, then morphed or photographed Photoshop them into inappropriate images. The Archdiocese of Louisville says Fouts has been a part-time teacher and member of the maintenance staff at the parish for nine years. They add 
he's not going to be returning to the school. But St. Stephen Martyr is holding a parent meeting about all this tomorrow to discuss what's going on. The FBI and the Archdiocese will be there. It's going to be Saturday at 1 p.m. The FBI is also looking to identify potential victims of Fouts. If you or someone you know has information about Fouts, the FBI information to contact them is right now on your screen. But we also have it posted for you on our website connected to the story, whas11.com. Today, a Louisville mother is celebrating her son's 16-year-old 16th birthday without him. Raymel Atkins was shot and killed September of last year on Galbert Avenue. Police said that he was shot inside a home and later died at the hospital. It's been four months since then, and his case is still unsolved. Today, on what would be his birthday, his mother says she wants to celebrate her son, but she is still angry at the group of people who came to her house and fired shots, ultimately killing him. They have no respect, no morals to come to my house, three kids, and let off I don't know how many gunshots to where everybody in there could have been killed. Tomorrow, friends and family will mark the teenager's birthday with a balloon release. It's planned for 4 p.m. at 21st and Galbert. That is the spot where he was killed. Louisville Metro Police are looking for suspects who they believe stole four cars right out of the Metro Police impound lot. That's right. The impound lot on Frankfurt Avenue near River Road. The suspects allegedly cut a hole in the fencing to get in and then get the cars out. LMPD says the vehicles were stolen from the impound lot sometime between Saturday night and Sunday morning earlier this week. One of the vehicles has since been recovered. Metro Police are calling this an open investigation. New tonight on the night team, the United States is striking back in response to the killing of three American soldiers by a drone on a remote U.S. base. The military has launched airstrikes on Iran-backed militants in Iraq and Syria, hitting targets like command and control operation centers and intelligence hubs. New from ABC News tonight, it comes as the bodies of those soldiers returned home with the president there paying respect. U.S. retaliatory airstrikes in Iraq and Syria tonight after Sunday's deadly drone attack on a U.S. base in Jordan that killed three Army reservists and wounded 41 others. U.S. Central Command says B-1 bomber strikes started this afternoon in Iraq and Syria aimed at Iranian-backed militants. All this as President Biden, the First Lady, and top members of the military were at Dover Air Force Base in Delaware today for the dignified transfer of the bodies of those reservists who were killed in that drone strike. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staffs, General C.Q. Brown, also witnessing the solemn return. Before the somber event began, the President and First Lady sharing a private moment with the families of the fallen American service members before the dignified transfer. The soldiers all from Georgia, Sergeant William Rivers, Sergeant Brianna Moffitt, and Sergeant Kennedy Sanders. Sanders and Moffitt posthumously promoted to sergeant. The three service members' deaths are the first U.S. fatalities blamed on Iran-backed militia groups who for months have been ramping up their attacks on American forces in Iraq and Syria since mid-October. Earlier this week, the White House saying the Islamic resistance in Iraq, an umbrella group of Iran-backed militias, had planned, resourced, and facilitated the deadly drone attack on Tower 22 in Jordan. Defense Secretary Austin also placing blame on Iran. Forensic evidence determining Iran made the drone fired by the militia group. This, this particular attack um, was egregious in that, it, you know, the attack uh, was on uh, the sleeping area of one of, of, of of our base. Both the White House and the Pentagon have stressed that despite the retaliatory strikes against Iranian proxy groups, the U.S. does not want a wider war with Iran. Ike Ajachi, ABC News, Washington. The president in a statement tonight said, quote, our response began today. It'll continue at times and places of our choosing. The United States does not seek conflict in the Middle East or anywhere else in the world. But let all those who might seek to do us harm know this. If you harm an American, we will respond. Today in South Louisville, police arresting 15 people during an early morning protest about the Israel-Hamas war. Free 
This protest was outside the RTX plant that's just south of the Waterston Expressway off Southside Drive. Members of the Louisville Ceasefire Coalition are protesting the ongoing Israeli assault on Gaza and the part played by the United States. More than 26,000 people have been killed and 65,000 wounded in the war. Protesters were asked to leave the streets outside the plant, but few complied. If you refuse to move, you will be arrested. This is your second warning. We were there as Metro Police gave several warnings to disperse. The 15 who did not were charged, arrested for trespassing.